<laughs> Hello there, everybody. Hi there. <laughs> Welcome to Splatoon. Uh, my name's <laughs> King J. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is this is Splatoon One. Um, before we start, I just want to give a little bit of history. Um, last year was crazy for this category. Um, at the start of the year, the world record was uh, just under uh, 50 minutes. Uh, then a giant new skip was found uh, uh, by a big uh, glitch hunter in the community known uh, by Messiah. And that is why our estimate is 40 minutes. So uh, this is actually the first time at an in-person event that this is going to be showcased. And I'm really excited that I get to show this off. Uh, so yeah. And also, thank you to uh, the person who claimed the reward uh, for boy versus girl. We are going to be going with the girl inkling. So yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, honestly, my favorite uh, of the two choices. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're gonna have to do my timer for okay, me. Yeah, I got you. All right, on go. Three, two, two one, one, go. go. All right. So starting off, I am not a motion control user, uh, so this is foreign to me. Based. <laughs> well, this is the tutorial, so you're gonna have to be one whether you like it or not. Yeah, so the, the tutorial I have to do with motion controls, and then I will be turning them off afterwards. Uh, I am one of the few sticks runners uh, who, like, is decently good at the Splatoon games. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, you guys can introduce yourselves if you want. I completely just bypassed you. <laughs> do you want to start? Uh, I'll start. Uh, hi, my name is Overmaster Ozzy. I did the Splatoon uh, 2 run on Saturday. Yeah, I'm Tukario. I never ran this game. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm running We Party You I, on I Friday. Them, I picked him up off the street and said, hey, you want to be, <laughs> you want to be part of ESA? And here we are. Here we are. <laughs> what a bond. <laughs> and this is like your first of like five consecutive... Yeah, no, he's commentating runs. so many runs in a row. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, uh, that was the tutorial. Uh, now we're going to go through a couple cutscenes um, to before we actually get into the main story mode. So if you want to read out some donations, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I've got eight dollar and eighty eight cents from Jazokt that says hashtag woo me and asked the question why is Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this donation. Amazing. <laughs> why is Canada? We're all wondering that. <laughs> Nobody asks how is Canada. No. <laughs> Canada's popping off tonight. <laughs> It's an inside joke that no one's... We're just going to be laughing at inside jokes from the last run when we were in the audience. <laughs> there was so many things that, like, like you might not have realized happened in the audience that happened in the audience. <laughs> Shout out to the Galaxy 2 run. That was wild. It was a three-hour run, and it got a bit crazy. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> a bit is very nice. It's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, starting off, we uh, we don't really have much that's going on, just because of the fact that like we have to start from a brand new save file, which means we have to go through the tutorial, uh, and also the game has to teach us about the overworld and the the hub worlds, um, and also it would give us the um, uh, the maps that are currently in rotation, but the Wii U uh, service went down, so <laughs> we don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> Rest uh, in peace. Yes. And so now uh, we are actually going into the main story mode. So again, like I said, the progression of this run has been crazy. We went from having to, like, we there was a big skip found like two weeks or like, a week into the game being out called World 4 Skip. It skipped the entirety of World 4. Crazy. And uh, <laughs> um, we were like, okay, that's it. There's, there's no way we're getting another World Skip because that's the only way that World 4 Skip works is the fact that uh, the way from World 4 to 5 isn't with an ink line. Uh, and so that made it so that we can actually get around the barrier. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to that, but that's the premise of it. And then Messiah came out in August of 2023 and found um, World 4 early. So we went from beating like 20 levels and four boss fights. Uh, we're only gonna see nine levels in this run and uh, two boss fights. It's crazy because this game has been out for going to be nine months as of this. Nine May. months. <laughs> oh, sorry, nine, nine it's years. very new. Yeah, yeah, it just came out last year. <laughs> On the Wii U. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're still making games for Wii U, interestingly. It's the sequel uh, of Splatoon 3. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to basic. <laughs> back to formula. <laughs> So uh, yeah, if you want to go over the basic mechanics of the game, like right now, we can we can do that. Sure. So you shoot ink, you swim through it. 
Yeah. <laughs> you run. I, I, think, I, I think I covered it. Thank you. You Thank swim you. in the ink faster than you run, though. So that's a yeah. very big optimization is like knowing it when to be shooting and when to be swimming. Yeah, and you die if you hit water. <laughs> that is true. We're hydrophobic. <laughs> Uh, so the other thing that Splatoon is uh, known for, like we said earlier, is its motion controls. Uh, it is faster to use motion controls because uh, you don't have to go through the menuing that I had to do um, after I gained control in the hub world. Uh, but yeah, it's preference. It's each their own, and uh, I really like. I, there's, in my opinion, I'm not going to play faster if I play with motion controls. I, I've just always played every Splatoon game without them. So face. <laughs> every time I say that, you're going to say base. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's not really much going on for the rest of this level, um, so if you want to take it away with some more donations, go for it. Yes, indeed. I've got uh, uh, $24.05 from um, Sheila Slays, <laughs> who That's says... A very so special number to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, that says, hashtag Wumi, first time donating to an event. I want to give a big good luck to my friend Joey for, his, for this run. You're going to do great. I really love ESA and the work you guys do. Hopefully, I'll get to come down here one day. Thank you very much for this donation. And that's the first level, by the way. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Nice. So the next level uh, has a really cool skip in it. Uh, you know, you might have heard of it before. It's it's been around the block for a long time now. It's called Cannonless. Um, so <laughs> Wait, are we playing Mario sixty four? I, I switched the game. <laughs> Splatoon 64. Oh, Splatoon 64. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is actually kind of difficult that we're going to be doing. Uh, we are going to skip going uh, for a cannon to ink up a wall. Uh, and instead, we're just going to use our regular, uh, you know, uh, hero gun to uh, to do it instead. Uh, and that we're going to be doing that based on a global cycle, which means as soon as we enter this level, uh, a wall is constantly moving. And uh, that's going to depend on how fast we can get up that wall at the very end, and how fast we can do cannonless. Yeah, this is easily the their most reset-heavy uh, level by probably a long shot. I don't think it's even close. Yeah, this is slower. I just do it because it's, it's safer. Do you wanted to say it's slower, but you do it because it's faster? <laughs> <laughs> it was really close that you were saying this. How did this. you know? It's faster for you. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I, I'm a very, uh, I'm very much of a runner. That's like, as long as it's consistent, that's what I prefer over speed. Uh, so I do some interesting strats. They're not faster, but again, they're just more consistent, um, which makes me have a pretty decent time in this category. I mean, we are doing a marathon run, so consistency is definitely. Not oh, what? Up. They did not die at all. Wow. all right. That bomb was supposed to kill them, but it's all right. That's gonna throw off my cycle, so I think I'm gonna have to do a different one. I'm, yeah, I might have to do right side. Uh, maybe actually? I think you can still make left side. It's gonna be tight. Oh, okay, that's, oh, that'll be fine. I oh, just have to do one more tap up here, and there we go. Nice! Okay, cool. All right, very good. <laughs> that's the first skip of the run. <laughs> so yeah, that's like a 15... There's a 15 second-ish detour uh, to go to a cannon to ink up that wall completely, but we skipped that. So by the end of that level, we wanted to have 100 uh, uh, fish eggs uh, to uh, unlock uh, one of our bombs. We're going to unlock it, uh, burst bombs later, but we're unlocking seekers because they're very useful. And uh, not only that, it's very important we unlock a different bomb type before the first boss fight uh, because of a glitch we're going to be using. Yeah, seekers are really useful um, because they go in a straight line, so they're uh, very well for getting around. Yeah, and they also unlock kettles really quick, as you just saw. That's true as well, because they uh, explode on contact with enemies. Yeah. And also objects. Yeah, so like we said, we move faster in the ink, so being able to just like paint a line straight in front of us is really good. And they got replaced by the curling bombs later, right? They did, yeah. Um, each Splatoon campaign kind of uh, swapped up what they did um, with the bomb types and which ones they chose. So, Seekers are only in the single player of Splatoon 1. Also, once again, we shouted this out during Splatoon 2, but uh, I want to quickly shout out the fact that uh, uh, Side Order is coming out, like, in three days. Uh, so that's pretty exciting for a lot of uh, the Splatoon community. Is it? <laughs> I don't know, I is mean, it? It's only a brand new game. <laughs> I, I, um, I don't know. So this is just more global cycles, uh, nothing too crazy. If you want to go ahead and take it away with another donation. I can hear them come again. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's great. Uh, I've got a do uh, $10 donation from Slim Jim who says, Share, and I don't know how you pronounce this. Share. Share. <laughs> Share. Okay, well, there you go. Share. All right, this is uh, the big uh, global cycle here to paint up this wall and make it, so that was good. And for some reason, I can't paint that wall, but whatever. 
Oh yeah, the other thing too, uh, to break the Zapfish uh, um, barrier, uh, just one bomb will do it, or it's like five shots, so throwing a bomb is faster. Alright, so now, do you want to explain, Obo, how uh, Rapid Fire Glitch works? Sure, so every time you uh, hit your D-pad and switch to a different sub-weapon, it somehow makes your fire rate faster. And so we're going to be using that on the tentacle uh, for boss one. Uh, there's three phases, um, and then once uh, Octo Stomp, which is the first boss here, reveals the tentacle, you basically have to shoot it. Uh, and it has a lot of uh, hit points. I'm going to warn Timbario <laughs> that my, my, my elbow might go over here, so just watch out. Okay. Um, but yeah, what he's basically going to do is he's going to mash the D-pad uh, to make his fire rate a lot yeah, faster. Yeah, every time you swap bomb types, like you, you fire one additional shot when you're holding the fire button. So that wasn't a great one, but like you kind of see the gist of it, and you can hear it as well when it goes, like, uh, you can hear it increase. It, it's a bit harder with when you only have two sub wins. Yeah. It's easier when you unlock uh, burst bombs because then you got uh, three different points to deal with. Yeah, and we'll be seeing that when we get to the final boss, so definitely. <laughs> And one more phase. Just the main thing you have to worry about this boss is just don't fall off. Yeah, specifically. This, this phase specifically phase. is the hardest one because we have these moving platforms, and uh, if you don't ink up enough, like it's going to be pretty rough to climb up. There you go. Right, nice. Pretty nice. All right, cool. Oh, watch out the plushies. Oh, yeah, I'm knocking the plushies <laughs> over. Man. Oops. Um, poor, poor. Okay, so we're going to start explaining this now. We're not going to fully explain how this trick works. This is the big 20-minute skip that was found uh, last year, uh, like mid-last year. And uh, we're going to quickly explain half of it, and then I'm going to need serious time to, to do the two skips. All right. So uh, also, we've skipped the scroll just so we won't see the collection animation. Yeah. True, uh, you didn't but anyway. get it. <laughs> no, I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I good wanted thing, to read it. Good, good thing there's not all scrolls wrong. So, yeah, so this is World 4 early. So what King J is going to be doing um, is he's going to first go to World 2, unlock a level so we can super jump back to it later. Um, and then what he's going to do, he's going to get into that uh, uh, ink rail right there. Um, and he's going to try to basically uh, manipulate uh, ink rail physics. And he's going to, like, squid uh, uh, into it uh, until he gets, like, a huge uh, boost, a huge jump. And he's going to store that. Um, as long as he doesn't go back into the Ancro normally, then he can get to store that high boost. He's going to try to get it right here. And he's going to try to use that to there basically get right. two bombs over Okay, I'm going to need serious time now. Okay, go. We'll explain the rest after. I believe We have to do this twice, by the way. Oh, I, I lost storage. Okay, that's yeah, that's fine. It's no big deal. Yeah, if you start going uh, back into the Ancro normally, then you lose your storage. Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, we'll super jump it just so we can uh, activate the storage from this point. Uh, and he's quickly uh, squeezing at the rail to keep the storage. Oh, okay, that's All fine. Right, that's fine. He, di he didn't go into any rail. So yeah, at least we again. didn't lose storage again. Okay, that's oh, one. Okay. All nice. right. It's not over yet. We just need to do it again. Okay, that didn't I work. Promise. That's okay. It, it hit the ceiling. But you can see what we're doing. Yeah, you, just have, you, you just got a time adjust, right? Uh, oh, that's okay. That's actually the hardest part for me, is getting the second squid. No, that timing is, like, ludicrous. That's not going to work. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. It's okay. Again, this this trick is pretty difficult to get the hang of, and uh, there's sometimes I get, like, it all the time. Sometimes I just can't get it. That should be good. Good. Did look good, yeah. Nice. All right, yeah. good. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Tonight. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> a couple mistakes, but it's all good. And now this one can be even worse. Uh, this is a three-pixel jump. This was found on the the first week of the game being out. So again, more serious time here. Then we'll explain what we just did. Oh, okay. I, I don't do a setup for this. There's, there's like, actual setups for this. I kind of just like to go for it. <laughs> you basically just have to land on three frames of ink. Yeah. 
Oh. oh. Let's go! Hey, All right. Try. <laughs> That's why it's the gold. <laughs> it's always the second try. All right. Do you want to explain what we just did there, Obo? <laughs> I mean, I think it's fairly self-explanatory. We had to land on th basically three pixels of ink uh, to basically go around the ba barrier, but still stay on the platform to get around and get to World 5. And just like that, we went from the first world of the game to the last world of the game. Yeah. We still had to beat six more levels to unlock the final boss, uh, but we're pretty much like... Like I said, we skipped World 2, 3, and 4 from that. Uh, and that uh, World 4 early was found by a wonderful runner named Messiah, who is just an insanely good glitch hunter. And uh, yeah, no, shout out to Messiah because he broke open this game and made us all go back to it eight years later. So, Not, not eight months. <laughs> not, not eight months. <laughs> Don't mix it up again. <laughs> I'll do my best. All right, so this is also another cycle level. There is a cycle that we like to call Scream Cycle. I'm not gonna go for it. It's really hard, and uh, it's insanely. Hard. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I've never gotten in. Honestly, I'm happy with how that went, though. I was failing uh, World 4 early a lot in practice. I still failed it a bit. I had to go back for storage, but you know what? In a marathon, we'll take it. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, the main thing here is not to die because if I die, the cycles get messed up. Yeah, for a lot of top players, this level can be especially hard because if you're on like a world record pace and you've just gotten a perfect World 4 early, a good World 4 skip, now you gotta do an extremely ludicrous uh, cycle in order to stay on world record pace. Yeah. So a lot of really good runs can uh, die on this This level. is the cycle that I'm trying to hate here, so as long as we get onto this platform, we're good. So nice. Uh, if, while we finish off this level, go ahead and read off another day donation if you got one. All right, um, I've got a $5 donation from XX Big Squid XX that says, remember that if you're interested in, in this game to pick it up before April, uh, the server's shut down within a couple months. That and is I, true. Th okay, that is true. Okay, I wanted to check that with no, you. No, that's, that's actually what's <laughs> happening. So Nintendo's shutting down uh, the, uh, the eShop then. And I've got another one. I've got a $10 from a uh, Adept CS. Oh, Adept. <laughs> I found the time to swing by and say good luck to the greatest Platoon 1 sticks runner of all time, and Obo 2, I guess. <laughs> Keep flooding it, gamers. <laughs> Yeah, the one, uh, the number one Splatoon won any percent sticks players of two of us. <laughs> the other one is a dev. <laughs> All right, so right here, as we uh, unlock the next level, we're going to unlock one and uh, not go to it right away. And the reason why is we're going to jump back to it later. We're going to be seeing that a lot um, in this world. Thank you. I, I did not unlock it. That is crazy. I, you did what I did. That, it, it's been a while since I missed that. It's okay though. Are, are we cursed to? We are 100% cursed. <laughs> At ESA, that's so funny. Okay, that, that's hey. fine. That's a mistake I've never made before. <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to Adept. All right, so now we have our octoling level. Uh, <laughs> this is supposed to be like the fourth one you do in the game. You're not supposed. To, you're supposed to be able to skip this cutscene, but because we've never seen uh, that cutscene before, it doesn't let us skip it. But it's an actual stage from the game that you that you play online. Yeah, that's like uh, the special thing about these missions with the with these uh, octolings. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> exactly. But I'm I'm I can't tell you the name of the stage this time because I'm not. I, I know I'm, the. I'm I think I know the German name, but it. that's it. It's uh, Salzburg. Rig. Well, I'm surprised you know it. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't know the ones from Splatoon too. <laughs> but what is your favorite but, map? Of all Splatoons. Of all, all Splatoons? Ooh. Ooh, that's a loaded question. Uh, there's a lot to pick from, so I don't know. I I, I always liked Bluefin Depot, though, so I'd, I'd probably go with that. It, it's not my favorite, but I just I like it. What, what is your answer? I just realized I did not unlock Burst Bombs, but it's okay. The first one I can think of is Humpback Pump Track. Okay. My favorite map is Murray Towers. Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Mm, okay. Uh, I forgot to get burst bombs. I was supposed to unlock it, uh, you know, after I missed that seeker. <laughs> so it kind of threw me off. Oh my god, okay. We're gonna get sniped there. This is also our first uh, Octa Striker level. Yeah, this is also in um, uh, a level from the online uh, Black Blue Skate Park. Yeah, true. Is it in Splatoon 3? I know it's in Splatoon 2, but. Uh, I don't think it's in 3. Okay, there we go. Kill that guy as the bomb explodes. 
Um, all right, I'm gonna unlock burst bombs now. I guess this is the most scuffed route of World Five I've done in a while, <laughs> but it's all right. Um, while we go to actually, no man, I have something to explain before we go to uh, more donations. Let's see. Wait, what do we, what do you need me to explain again? I gotta explain the unlock. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're going to do a really, like I said before, we can jump to any uh, uh, level we've been to, the, or that level that we unlock, even if we haven't physically been there. So we're just going to throw some bombs off here, and that's going to unlock that level over there. So perfect. And uh, now we can super jump to it later, and we never have to actually go over there physically. You can tell if um, if we have unlocked the level if the um, save uh, screen appears on the bottom left. Yeah, and that's how I could tell as well in the uh, in World Four early if I unlocked uh, the level in in World Four. By the way, the reason why we needed the height in World Four early, I'm going to go back and explain that because we didn't explain it before, uh, is because uh, we w uh, need the bombs to reach the level uh, to unlock it. We also need to. Um, uh, have the height to spawn in the level uh, to get it within range. Uh, and uh, the reason why I pause during World 4 early is because the bomb will still explode while the game is paused, but it'll keep our height uh, and everything loaded in. So, yeah. Yeah, because if you didn't pause, then the uh, level would then be deloaded and we wouldn't be able to uh, get any damage. No, I tried to substrafe the there and instead I went into the enemy ink. Nice. It's okay, at least you didn't die from the flutters. <laughs> that is true. Because that's the flutters. They, uh, they're insta kill. Yeah. We don't have armor. Yeah, that's the flutters, uh, which are like, this is like the main RNG level of the run now. Uh, there used to be two, but again, one of them caught cut out because of uh, the new route. Okay, that was a little close, but there we're good. Go. Very nice. That's pretty good RNG, honestly. fall off like I did in my pace run. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Uh, yeah, so while we do the next level, there's not really too much going on for the first bit, so you can go ahead and read off and don uh, another donation. Well, first of all, I have to say uh, I missed that, but we have reached twenty-six thousand dollars. Let's go! Let's go! That's poggies. Yeah, that's actually. Poggies. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's what I like to call shot RNG, by the way. You, shout out to shot RNG. You oh, said man. poggies. I got a donation for you. Oh. It's from Jinko and Butts. Uh, <laughs> of, it's a donation of seven dollars that says, "I absolutely love Splatoon. The three gentlemen on the couch are looking, and we quote, pretty poggies. <laughs> we will double." this donation if Tim Cario teaches the, the audience a German word. A German word? Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... That doesn't count. In, in Germany we have this one word when something bad or negative happens. We just uh, raise our hand like this and this is like from a crab the... Um, I forgot the name of, about it in English. But in Germany we call it Schere. That's what the other donation is coming from. And yeah, that's basically what, what we're saying. Oh so God, get up. we just say <laughs> Schere. And word, word for word uh, translation is actually uh, scissors. But um, the thing from the crab is called a different way than scissors. Do you, do you know what I mean? I do not know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ginkgo, do you know what I mean? <laughs> a what? A oh, claw. A claw. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> yeah, and in, in, in Germany we say Schere. Ah. So that's the German word I'm teaching everyone at the moment. German with with the car, yeah. pa Part one of five. Part five? Oh, wait, yeah, you're on five different runs. And pa from six. Two of them are mine. <laughs> Which is the other run of yours? Mario Kart 7 tomorrow morning? Oh, true. You forgot what you're commentating? <laughs> I forgot who was running. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, we just finished the level, yay! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have uh, one more level to do, and it, it's honestly one of my least favorite levels, uh, just because there's a lot of strats in it, <laughs> so... So yeah, we're gonna do uh, switch box shake-up. So fun fact, by the way, for this run, I, I'm running on Tim Cario's Wii U, <laughs> and I didn't have a PAL copy, so my friend Juzok bought me one, and because I'm never going to use it again, I'm going to get the entirety of ESA to sign my copy, and when I mean my copy, I mean everything. You can sign the disc if you want, <laughs> like, because I'm never going to touch it again. 
unless I go back to ESA again <laughs> for the same game. Also, the same it, category. Also, I don't know what happened. Did anybody else see that I killed only one of the Octoballs and the other one didn't die? He but he, but he just it, like disappeared. That was weird. I didn't really pay attention to that. All right, so that right there, we just jump off the edge a little bit, uh, hold back and throw a bomb instead of going up and around doing a puzzle. I was too busy reflecting on our oh, the absolute we'll saga we had, get, making sure we could run this game today. <laughs> oh my we had god! So many scares. <laughs> Do you want to talk about parental controls? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah. So well, first we couldn't find a charger for the Wii U gamepad, so we had, <laughs> we had to borrow time links. We literally had to ask. Shout out on time link. We're getting. We're, we stole his, uh, yeah. his charger for this. And then we found out that the <laughs> parental controls are still active on this Wii U. <laughs> And, <laughs> and Tim Koryu didn't remember the password. He didn't remember the password, <laughs> so we had to figure it out. We had to. We had. We had a but, lot of panic of. Can I even delete my save file? <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, uh, after three hours of a Green Star run where I was able to think about it, <laughs> I remembered the password and I hit it first try. First try. Let's. Go. <laughs> okay, so you're probably looking at. We have the just the final boss left, and you're probably looking up there, being like, "Wow, we're on really good pace. He's gonna get a sub 30. This boss takes nine minutes." <laughs> So, uh, but it does have some really says, good look at the TV, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing that right now. Do you, do you, can I explain what's uh, down here on the gamepad? Yeah, go for it. So, at the gamepad, you can... It's Joey's lap. <laughs> 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 so, um, you what's can... sitting on Joey's lap? Yeah, so you can basically see the map and, like, all the levels in, like, small circles and touch them to... Um, to jump to them. Yeah, exactly. And, and you, if you're and in you the see, level... You see you literally just like three areas with no levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in, in the level you, you see the the map from the level as well. Like, yeah. like you can explain it with Mario Kart DS very well. You don't see the whole map at once, but you see like a certain amount around you of a map. Also, I just like the fact that we skipped over so much story. Like, first it's like, Gramsci's like, doing good, like, good job, you're doing great. And now there's like, two random <laughs> chicks with us. Gramps is kidnapped. There's this dude for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I went flying to the moon and now we're here. <laughs> Such a feather dream, actually. <laughs> This is a really vivid dream that we're in right now. I mean, that's the joy of speaking. Also, this guy has some of the best dialogue ever. Uh, there's a lot of puns in here. I will take it back what's mine. So this is um, DJ Octavio. Wait, uh, is that the European text box? Because I thought the route line was, I'm going to remix your face. Oh, maybe it, maybe it is. I, didn't I think even that's think the about North that. American Also, one. now you can really see uh, rapid fire glitch to its full uh, capacity. Uh, but do you want to explain uh, the late fist skips, uh, uh, Oboe, and how they work? Sure. We're not going to see them here because he only uh, shoots one fist at a time. Uh, but for the remaining uh, phases after this, uh, he's going to shoot uh, two fists, one after the other. Uh, and what we're going to try to do um, is um, delay the... Mike. I'm trying to think of it. The uh, delay the first fist. Uh, I actually delayed the second one. Or the second one. I don't know. I haven't played this game in a while. <laughs> I kind of forgot. It's more consistent for Joey. That's why he's doing it. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> Obo like... actually has a better PB than me. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a PB. On the mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Tim Gary has a better PB than me because he's never played the game. <laughs> well, no, you've played the game before, but. <laughs> True. Um, so, yeah, here's where uh, we're going to see the delay fist. Uh, it saves a lot of time each cycle, uh, each time we do it. Um, we can do it each phase from now on. Uh, and it saves about like 20 to 30 seconds each time. So, let's go ahead and do this. I just basically tap it in. That should be good. Nice. All right, cool. We have to do it one more time just to be safe. We actually don't really have to do it, but I'm going to do it anyways because I always do. It basically makes it so it pushes back Octavia further, which ends the phase faster. Hey, he has like 30,000 weapons as well. Also, I completely forgot that it was a left fist first, so good thing we still made it. <laughs> All right, yeah, by the way, um, if you stay in the ink, you won't know where... Wait, what? He's not far back enough? All right, well, that lost 20 seconds. It's all good. Um, that's really weird. I'm surprised that didn't work. I think usually I just do the uh, first two fists normally, and then I uh, do delay on the second set of fists. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm surprised that one didn't work. He was really far back. Like, it should have worked. 
All right. Um, but yeah, uh, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to just do delay fist skips. If you have any more donations, uh, now's a good time. Yes, I do. It is from Butts and Jinko this time. Uh, of seven. <laughs> Again? <laughs> well, no, it was swapped before it was Jinko oh, yeah. and Butts. Oh, yeah. and, oh, Butts and Jinko. Yeah, yeah, don't mistake it. Uh, it is for $7 and says, I'd really think about your explanation skills, but here are the promised seven, uh, seven euros anyway. Uh, these are dollars, but anyway, thank you very much for matching the donation. Sorry that I'm not a teacher. All right, so we're going to grab this thing, Zuka. Uh, these are very important for the run. It speeds it up quite a bit. And uh, we're going to use it on the subwoofer at the end of this, uh, at the end of this phase. I, so wait for I don't one. think he's got... Where, where is he away. shooting at? All right, that should be good, I think. Definitely looks good. We'll find out here. Okay, now. Okay. okay, we got we got that one at least. We didn't get the one that like saves more time, but yeah. it's all good. You can uh, do the, the delay on just the first pair and then do the second pair normally. Yeah, so as you can see, we're just hitting this uh, really far away and, uh, instead of having to wait for it to come to us. So that, that's why uh, the Inkzuka saves a lot of time. We're gonna get another one in the next phase. We're gonna save it for the uh, the final um, uh, the final part of the fight though. All right, so this one uh, is interesting. So we're gonna, once again, we're going to do another delay fist, uh, but we're only going to hit the first fist here, and we don't need to hit the second one. So the other one's just going to chill. And there it goes. <laughs> Chilling so hard right now. Chilling so hard. It's pretty pog. <laughs> <laughs> pretty pog jam. We're on fire tonight. We are <laughs> These are all inside jokes. All right, uh, so once again, I'm going to do this one really fast. Then do this one really slow. Good. That's very good. Okay. Oh, what? He's... Bro, he's just there. Okay. I haven't seen that before. It's been a while since I've seen him, like, stop there. That's not scary at all. It's really not. <laughs> Standing on invisible platforms. And he's not far back enough. That sucks. Okay, so I failed two of them. That's really annoying. This is a bad Octavio. <laughs> it's all good, though. Not a come to a bad Octavio and Splatoon 2. <laughs> that is true. This one's not RNG, though. This one actually has strats in it. No, this one's based on a skill, so you should be ashamed. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Play better, streamer. <laughs> Be faster. Vita, Vita. Andale. Alright, so we're gonna uh, fire this one back as normal. And uh, yeah, so now we get the really good music. <laughs> yeah, this this soundtrack is coming up as a This is still bad. looking like a 33, which is pretty crazy because of how bad the skips went. <laughs> but it's alright. Yeah, get some cat jams in chat, by the way. Audience dance. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. And uh, time is going to be up in like a minute. Like literally a minute. Alright, I'm going to try to go for... This one's actually really hard. I'm going to try to go for a rapid fire fist skip instead. Oh, I got it. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. That one's much harder than doing a delayed fist skip. You have to have really good uh, rapid fire glitch to do that. Yeah, the fastest way to do Octavia is basically to do a rapid fire glitch on uh, each each fist because it actually like skips. Yeah. Uh, skips the phase. That was also a good one. I've definitely been the the quiet nerd of the run. <laughs> You've been explaining more stuff than I have. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the music play out because it's really good. It's a bop. It is a bop. It's a classic. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> a classic from 2015. <laughs> Certified banger. It def I, I think it really competes with the. Uh, uh, what? Oh, by the way, get ready on hip Get ready on my time. <laughs> you gotta get ready yeah. to hit it in a little bit. Yeah. Time is gonna be when Octavio slams back into the ship. Uh, so yeah. Looking like a 33. Alright. Oh, 
And time. All right. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> And that's Splatoon in 30 minutes. <laughs> well done. Once again, uh, shout out to the whole Splatoon community, because this it's crazy that we can beat this game this fast now. Uh, shout outs to uh, my commentators, uh, the one that knows what he's talking about, and the one that's just here to look pretty. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was me, right? I think I did <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Right? You're the one that knows what he's talking about. Uh, yeah. Shout out to my back massager, <laughs> my professional back massager. Our professional teacher. <laughs> um, and... Uh, yeah, thank you ESA for uh, for having me. I, this is not my last run I'm doing. Tomorrow morning on stream one, I'm going to be running Mario Kart 7. Oh yeah, true. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'll be there. I, I, I will I'll be, be there, there well. no matter what. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, I think that, that was a pretty good run. Uh, and again, the skips went a little well over the place. Um, I wish Octavia went better, but, but yeah, uh, no, I had a fun time and uh, hopefully... Uh, uh, this was a good showcase of Splatoon, so thank you for having me, and uh, enjoy the, the rest of the night, guys. Thank you very much, King J, for this amazing, amazing speedrun. Uh, we'll be back very soon. Yeah, let's get a round of applause. Yeah.